the one and only buzzing today i want to talk about mixing afrobeat vocals especially lead vocals this is a record i've done with an amazing singer songwriter by the name of bass god definitely check him out this song is actually released that we're working on it's a song called easy he did a while ago but it's just a sick record it's just got that commercial feel to it you know it's just you know what the song speaks for itself i'm gonna play you the song and then i'm gonna break down what i did so let's get into this Stress just good vibes, yeah. I'ma roll up just feed me. Uh, baby, take it easy. Let me make it be easy. No stress, just good vibes, yeah. I'ma roll up just please me. La la, yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's easy by Bass God. Make sure you check that one out. That one is a serious, serious song produced by me, obviously. Um, yeah, so. I'll give you a quick rundown of this song. This song, we actually made this whole song, the entire song. That's the beat, the recording, the mixing, all of it. I think it took us all together probably about three hours, three, four hours. And I work so much with bass. I work with him all the time. So I kind of know what he likes. Um, I know what to expect from him. He knows what he likes. It's really important when an artist actually knows what they like. And he was kind of hands-on as well in regards to getting his vocals the way he wanted it, the words and all that other stuff. But yeah, so I'm going to show you what I did. Let me mute everything quickly. Um, I kind of mix differently these days. Not much different, but kind of a bit different. Different plugins and stuff like that. But I just love the, the feel of this one. So yeah, so the first thing I did was... Actually, just I have to show you this. This is quite critical. So the first thing I actually did was send it to a bus now this bus initially was empty this is bus one if you guys don't know how to do that i'll just show you quickly you click here and you send it to a bus what the bus is is actually an auxiliary track which is here um the reason why my bus my auxiliary track is actually on my arrange page if i can just show you that um how i done that was quite simple you just go right click well, okay, you can't do that now. Let me just show you here. Let me use another effect. Um, so something like this, you just go right click, create a track. The moment you do that, you see your track. You will see your track on your rain page. This is really good if you want to do stuff like automation, um, even like effects, like if you just want to bypass like a, a delay or reverb or whatever it may be, it's good to do it because you would actually have the the track so you just press a to go to automation so you'd actually be able to do automation on the actual auxiliary when you put it on the range page so that's really cool um in this particular track you didn't really need to do that but yeah that's just something that you can do so yeah getting back to the getting back to the mix the first thing i've done is send it to my boss then straight away first things first slap some auto tune on there his voice is actually quite good with or without auto tune, but his sound is always has this kind of like wavy vocal. So the auto tune gives it that kind of wavy vocal, which is really dope. So yeah, we slapped the auto tune. This one is a stock. This is a stock auto tune. So this comes with Logic. Um, I do have Antares and um, Antares for those people that are anal. Um, and then obviously wave tune and stuff like that. But this is really, really good for his voice. Then the next thing I did was add the SSL channel strip. This is probably my go-to plugin for every vocal. It just makes it rich. It just gives everything you need. Um, it has an EQ. So if you know about the SSL desk, it basically has um, everything that's on the SSL desk. So this is like the EQs. Then also this is like the compressor side. So it's more like I did a slight compression here, not nothing too crazy. Um, with my dynamics is this channel out so this you don't really need to follow this too much like you can copy and paste it um why is this is my Migo preset i think i initially um i think i initially used it on a trap record and i just really liked the way how it sounds so it's kind of like my preset and then i just adjusted it um just to break this down for you really quickly this is like a filter so i filtered this it probably about so this is cutting off the low end to about 70 hertz. You can see it there, 70 hertz. 
you still want to keep some of that low end in but not too much it kills you want to filter out the room sound but you do want to keep some of that low end in um then yeah again on the highs there's the high frequencies i've added slightly probably like two three db um high mids this is high mids here i've reduced uh again probably about two three db just to give it some sort of balance um again on the low mids i've increased it a little bit uh around the 150 i think this is i don't know why i've particularly done this again a lot of the time when you're mixing it's all about feel how it makes you feel what you actually get from the record um so yeah i've done that and then yeah like i said this is the low this is the low frequencies i've i've boosted around no sorry i've deducted sorry around 300 so i believe this is because the vocals kind of sounding muddy so between 300 and 500 hertz is usually where you get that kind of the room boxy muddy kind of feel so i kind of reduced that so i've done that let me play that let, let me play them both together oh we've got solo our vocal Easy. also another thing i say it is it's really important to mix your beat first or have a really good beat mix and then put your vocals like place your vocals within the beat mix working on the vocal alone is cool but you won't necessarily get the best out of the vocal because the vocal still has to cut in the mix it still has to be part of the song so it's really um important to actually mix your vocals the cleaning process you can kind of do it like you know without any beat or anything like that but for the most part you want to mix within the beat because i'm giving showing you how i mixed it i'm not actually going to play the beat i'm just going to show play the acapella but again note to self mix the vocal within the beat so yeah um yeah so this is the vocal acapella easy loving me for beat easy no stress just good vibes yeah i'm a roll of just feed me uh, baby take it easy love it make you be easy no. okay cool so what i've done here now um i've added a so this is his actual um this is a preset that I made for him. We use this on his vocal all the time. Just to break it down quickly again, around that 300, anywhere between 300 and 500, we do a lot of cut in there. This is the high band frequency. This is the low pass filter, wow. Um, yeah, we usually cut out to probably about 80, 90, just, just, to, kill, just to make the vocal a bit more clean and kill the, any dead sound in the room or you know, frequencies cutting in. I don't usually do this as much now, or if I do do it, I you kind of use um, uh, a vintage EQ to kind of boost it. But in this record, like I said, because of how it sounded in the mix and we wanted to cut through, it was really important to kind of give it some sort of like crisp and shine, some sort of brightness, I should say, at the end. So that's why I've um, added that. So, so this is actually all on the actual channel. So this is... This is actually on the, the lead vocal channel, as you can see. Okay, um, let me play that all together for you guys so you get a view or understanding of what I'm doing. Okay, that's if it lets us. Let's go back to our mixer. Let me show you that. Easy. Loving me for be easy. No stress, just good vibes. Yeah, I'm a roll of just feed me. Uh, baby, take it easy. Loving me for be easy. No stress. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, that's that. So then now this is where the work begins. So all everything that I've done here is cleaning up. Just literally cleaning up. Um, nowadays I might just add a de extra de so just to smoothen it out a bit more but I kind of liked how it sounded it was just clean it was more of his natural voice then now before we get to the colouring the colouring is like the delays the the echoes as some people know um, the reverb the room space um, all of that stuff we kind of have to like clean the vocal a little bit more so this is a really cool plugin it kind of I'm just using it for the gate you can use any gate to be honest I just like this auto track gate it cuts out all the dead sounds and the little, the, just the little clicks and and the mics and all that kind of stuff. 
I'm going to play it, obviously, without, and then I'm going to play it with. So this is it without. Easy. Let me make it be easy. No stress, just good vibes. Yeah, I'm going to roll them just feed me. Baby, take it easy. Okay, cool. So now let me put that in. Easy. Let me make it be easy. No stress, just good vibes. See, the thing about this, I'm going to... Let me add my, um, let me add, okay, let me add my compressor first. And then you, you'll you be able to see exactly what that noise gate is doing. This is the R-verb compressor. I just love the R-verb compressor. Like, it's the compressor, especially for vocals. Um, R-verb, wow. <laughs> R-vox compressor is literally the one for vocals. I've kind of hitting it quite hard. Easy. I don't Let usually hit it that easy. hard, but I think it was needed. No stress, just good vibes. Yeah, I'm a roll of just feet. Okay, so cool. So what this is gonna do for you now? Let me let me take off the noise gate so you can hear it without the noise gate. Easy. Let me make it be easy. No stress, just. So I'm not sure if you can hear the headphone bleed coming out. So the headphone bleed being like little sounds from the headphone coming in. Easy. Okay, cool. So, but when you add the noise gate, that's gone. Listen now. Easy, love it, make it be easy. No stress, just good vibes. Yeah, I'm a roll of just feed me. Uh, baby, take it. So, the main thing you need to work with is literally um, this bit down here. Obviously, the threshold. You don't want to cut too much vocal but you don't want to leave too much bleeding um so you just do it by ear obviously Easy. Love it. okay i think i was on like Easy. Love it, still hear a bit of the bleed Easy. Love it, make okay it's going Easy. Love it, make it be easy. no stress just a little bit coming in you don't want to cut too much because you don't want to lose the the frequencies in the vocal. Easy, love it, make it be easy. No stress, just good vibe. Okay, cool. That sounds cool to me. Again, it's all by taste, all by ear. There's no right or there's no wrong. So that's that. Then after I've done that, I've added an L2. This is a preset that I had that I kind of... I don't know, it's like, how can I put this? It's like, it was it was initially for volume and control, but I just realized it just helps your vocals sit nice in the mix. Like, it just, it just, it just works wonders. Um, I don't do this as much these days. Well, I don't use the Waves L2. I'm more in the Fab L2, but this is really, 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 really dope. If you are gonna use the L2, please, you can copy this preset. Um, the main thing is you don't want to put no diver in there. You don't want to put no um, shaping or sharpening, however it is. And then, yeah, that's basically it. So let's put the... Obviously, you can hear the volume now. Easy. Love it, make it be easy. And then this is it with the L2. Easy. Love it, make it be easy. Already, it just, it's like it jumps in your face. It's like, oh, okay, cool, I got that. I can hear everything. So obviously, after I've increased the volume, I started hearing certain frequencies I didn't like. Um, I think I've done quite a bit of... So this is the EQ that we used. Done quite a bit of um, cleaning. Easy. Love it, make it be easy. No stress, just good vibes. Yeah, I'm a roll of just feet. Okay, I'm going to play it now with the EQ on. Easy, love it, make it be easy. See, when you're, the key is when you're cutting anything is, it's not too much. So with these cuts, they're probably about, this is the old um, fab, I would say. So anyone using the old one knows that you kind of have to do a bit more. But the more newer ones, you can do maybe like two, three dB and it kind of gives you the the cuts that you need. But yeah, so again, I listened to the track. Easy. And there were just certain frequencies. Be easy. No stress, just good vibes. Yeah, I'm a roll of just feed me. Uh, baby, take it easy. Let me make it be easy. 
again, it's so important to listen to your mix within the beat because some of these things now, as you're just listening to the acapella, you'd be like, oh, no, it sounds all right. It does why would you do that you know we've taken a lot from it but within the beat it makes a big difference so we've done that let's get back to okay so yeah we added um a fab eq for cleaning up then this is a really cool compressor that i like is the pog child um i think with this one i kind of done it to give it a bit more of a punch easy love it make it be easy no stress, just good vibes. Yeah, I'm a roll up, just feed me. Uh, baby, take it. Again, it increased some frequencies that I didn't like. Yep, so I've gone in again and cut again. Easy. Love it, make it be easy. No stress. And this is a really cool plugin that I like. This is a vintage um, EQ. So it's actually, it actually says V. So the V, I. I assuming it's this vintage eq but this is from waves this is really really dope it just gives that brightness to the vocal that it's missing you know that brightness easy love it make it be easy no stress just good vibes yeah i'm a roll up just feed me uh. you, this this is a little analog um button here this adds a little bit of distortion to the vocal I put it on this particular record because I wanted the record to have that kind of feel. Usually I wouldn't leave it on because it kind of gives it like a white noise hiss kind of thing. So I don't usually leave it on, but this record I left it on. Um, let's go back. What else have we got? We've got a DSR, the standard waves DSR. Again, I use so many different tools more recently, but yeah, this is a great tool. This is a go-to. I'll probably use this to the day that I die. Do you know what I'm saying? Like this this DSO hair does the job. So let's let's obviously hear it without it. Easy. Love it, make it be easy. No stress, just good vibes. Yeah, I'm a roll up, just feed me. Uh, baby, take it easy. So we're not taking too much Love out. It it Maybe like minus three dB. Nothing crazy. Um, we're around like five K, around the five K. Easy. Love it, make it be easy. No stress, just good vibes. Yeah, I'm a run. Okay, cool. What I've done again is I've added another um, Pog Child uh, compressor. I think this one is, I've done this more of just balancing. And what I usually like to do is if I have a compressor, I would probably like have two just to give it that kind of parallel feel kind of thing. So here's here's the other one. Here's it with the both of them. Easy. Love it, make it be easy. No stress, just good vibes. I'll say cool. So let's just hear that let's just hear it in the mix now. So um yeah. Easy. Love it, make it be easy. No stress, just good vibes. Yeah, I'm a roll up, just feed me. Uh, baby, take it easy. Let me make it be easy. No stress, just good vibes. Yeah, I'm a roll up, just please me. La la, yeah. Yeah, guys, literally, that's pretty much it. Um, Everything else was what we refer to as coloring or, you know, giving it that kind of vibe and feel. So I think hair is going to bust free. Let me see what my bust free is. What's my bust free? Bus free. Oh, sorry. Bus free. We actually sent it here. So bus free is okay. We have like a delay. It has a pog child in there, and it has I have an eighth note delay. This is to kind of give it more room. Let's just play that by itself. It's not gonna play by itself. No stress. Just go. Cool. I need something to leave. Yeah, I'm a roll up, just feed me. Uh, baby, take it easy. Love it, make So that kind of makes it more wide. Is it all together? Easy. Love it, make it be easy. No stress, just good vibes. Yeah, I'm a roll up, just feed me. I always, or pretty much nearly always, EQ my delays and verbs. It's just to... Give it more room, make it less muddy. 
So we usually always do that. Um, yeah, and then I think bus two. What's that bus two doing? Uh, bus two is. I've just added that. I'm not sure why I've done that, but I've done it. Easy, love it, make it be easy. No stress, just good vibes. Yeah, I'ma roll up, just feed me. Uh, baby, take it easy. Love it, make it be easy. No stress. Okay, and also, what's bus four? So all these things are like the little effects that I've done. I just want to show you the effects. Oh yeah, this is a really, really cool. So this is like an exciter. Um, for those people that don't know what exciter is, it's kind of gives your your any f signal or frequency that you pass it through. It kind of gives it this kind of element of excitement, surprise, flair, whatever you want to refer to it as. It really, really makes it nice. It gives it that crisp finish. I usually use this on like pop vocals, um, a lot of like singy stuff. It's really cool. This is my settings for this particular record. So let's hear it with it out without it. Easy, love it, make it be easy. No stress, just good vibes. Yeah, I'm a roll up, just feed me. Uh, baby, take it easy. Love it, make it be easy. So it's so subtle, it's so subtle, but it's making a big difference. Let me play it. Let me play, let me play it. Let's see. Yeah, I'm a roll up just f uh, Baby, take it easy Love it, make it It's so subtle, you can't even hear it, to be honest But yeah, it makes a difference And then, what's the last thing I added? Bus 5 uh, Bus 5, what's up, bus 5 A uh, Bus 5, what have we got going on here? Okay, so we've got a stereo imager um, We've got some UAD So this is the UAD uh, compressor the LA2A. This is really, really good. The Waze one is really, really good as well, but this particular record I decided to go with the UAD one. And again, I've got the Pog Child EQ. So yeah, that's basically it. This is the lead vocal. This is how I mix the lead vocal for Easy. I know, guys, it's been up and down. I'm going to be doing more of these videos, but if you do have any questions or you do need a breakdown or you want me to send your preset, please do not feel shy or any way to hit me up let me know and let me sort you out. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, this is your favorite producer, your producer's favorite producer, the one and only Buzz Buzz, buzzing, and I'm out.